Is there any way to learn your advantage on knockdowns without labbing all of them? Like a pattern after identifying their position on ground, this is for example. Like a pattern after identifying their position on the ground. Okay. When you knock somebody down, uh, the first thing you want to know about them is whether or not they're going to tech roll quickly or not. Or they're going to lay there on the ground, you know what I mean? Tech roll, roll back, kind of the same thing. It kind of has the same timing to it, right? Um, from there, if you know they're going to get up quickly, which is what they usually do, right? Look at him, he's tech rolling. Most players tech roll in tech. It's just the safest way to get up. It's the fastest way to get up, right? You get to your feet. The worst thing possible is that you have to eat the mix up if your opponent chooses to get in their face. So make sure you choose to get in their face after you knock them down as they're getting up. You know, if you notice that they like to lay on the ground, you know, every time you knock them down, that's when you're going to kind of want to focus a little bit more on that moment as soon as they hit the ground to recognize if they're choosing to lay there or not, you know. And if you recognize that, you know, they might have a chance of choosing to lay there, you have your grounded attack ready. But this guy has tech rolled, roll back, gotten up quickly every time. You know, a lot of people are going to do that. So just assume a lot of times at first they're going to quick get up, whether, whether it be a tech roll or a roll back. And then at that point, you want to make sure you're on top of them. You know, right on, right, you know, in their face as they're getting up. The important thing here is to not do your mix up too early. When people are rolling back, tech rolling especially, they're like vulnerable for a certain period of time. And you can't hit them with attacks. Like, it's a, it's a small window, but you want to make sure they get to their feet. Don't rush it, because they're going to be like locked down for a long time. As they wake up, they have to like recover, get to the standing position after tech rolling and then like throw an attack right that's a lot of frames that's a lot of time they have to spend so don't rush it you have a lot of time to recognize make sure that they got up like let's say right here is he gonna tech roll no stay on the ground plenty, plenty of time to react to that you know same situation here he got up initiate the mix up oh so close so close. What's up, hi? Yeah, man. Been working during the day and they let me out at night, so here I am. I'll more than likely start streaming at night, you know. Mix it up a little bit. Does that kind of help out a little bit, uh, M202? Like, knowing whether or not they're staying there or getting up is the first thing. But this guy's getting up. I can just run in and mix it up. Don't have to worry about him laying there. But if he did, then I know what to do, you know. One more, Shay. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I sent you. Nah, I'm just. I'm just doing stuff with Red Bull during the day. Trey, what up? Yo. Um. Yeah. So hopefully that answered your question. Learn your advantage on knockdowns without labbing all of them. As long as you know your mix-ups, you should be good. You definitely have to practice like timing it as they get up. If you don't know the timing. That's just something that you can pick up really quickly because it's, it's not that, like, strict. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's box, baby! Let's box! <laughs> nice combo. What do I do for a living? Mm, I play this game called Tekken. This little gig I got going for me right now. Bitch. Good, bro. Thanks for asking. That explanation was super in depth about getting straight to the point. You think so, buddy? It sucks that I didn't get to demonstrate it because a lot of times I would prefer to like show it live in action. That way you guys get the real fucking. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> First hand experience. What did I do for being a pro gamer? Ah, oh, I could have killed him. Man, I should have thought about that. I just went straight to it. Yeah, awesome. I get to play Tekken full time. That didn't just. It wasn't always the case. It kind of just happened recently. I'm working full time in an office. Working with medical records and shit. A little boring office job. Got the opportunity to go pro in 2018. Sponsored by Red Bull, later by Radiance. The boss is in the chat right now. On my best behavior. Oh boy. Is that guaranteed? 
the knock, but the knockdowns where they fall in particular positions, like face down, towards, kind of be lapped separately. Then no, it's the exact same. It's the exact same situation because when they are knocked down in those positions, they can still tech roll, they can still roll back, and they're still likely to do so. You know, the only thing you would laugh is how to hit them on the ground quickly with your character. That's really what you want to know, so that you have something you rely, you rely on when you see them on the ground. The only like dangerous thing is if you happen to get caught with that low kick in certain positions, they're they're allowed like a big combo afterwards. But that's only if you fail to do your part of the job, which was hit them on the ground. What character can we demonstrate this on? I feel like Brian is perfect. No, I always play Brian. How about Leo? Yeah, Leo's good. Leo. Hmm. I've been playing a lot of Brian lately. Toasty. Get that ball back. <laughs> Actually, you missed it yesterday. Me, JR, and Fab were playing in the lobby. And I was using Paul that lobby. That's some fun. I'll try to demonstrate, like, just recognizing. But a lot of times, for the most, a lot of players are going to be getting up fast. You know, tech roll. And that's why you're going to want to master first. Definitely master that first. Like, how to mix them up. This is a perfect chance to just take it to the lab. Quick two minute lab, because it's going to be super quick to explain, and then we can take it to the streets. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist What's your character, seven. bro? This is going to be easy, guys. I mean, many of you guys might know this already, but it could be like a relearning opportunity. Is there a way to mix up wake up options in this game? There is, right? Kind of like uh, ground technique, uh, random, right? See, just just doing the rushing to do like a mid or a low when they're gonna tech roll. Here, yeah, that's what I should do first. I should have them set the tech roll. I rush up and just do this low. That's never gonna hit as they tech roll as they get up. Never gonna hit. Better you just wait a while. So let's let's wait a while. They're by the wall now. Wait a little longer. Give it a second. I didn't wait as long as that one. Even in a situation like that, they're guessing. They have to guess. You're mixing them up. Wait a little bit, right? Now I don't know. That'll that. Actually, going too fast and committing to your attack as they're getting up actually puts you in a very, very bad position because watch. If I fuck up the mix-up and he gets up, I can whip, he can sidestep, he can do a lot of things and get me. So wait till they get up. Same thing with the wall. We start wall. Not the same with the wall, the situation. Ah, I know what I need to do. Like right there, if you wanted to do a mid, just go into the quick mid. It will never work. You actually need to wait a little bit. 
that's the timing you kind of want. And to, and to like time it properly, you could even dash into the character to kind of like correct the timing a little bit, correct the spacing, correct the alignment. It's gonna tech roll off to your side a little bit, so you want to either like maybe sidestep into a certain way, kind of like that. Don't just like mash on the mid, because that's not how you do it. Set to the streets. That's just how you time a mix-up. You wait a little bit. Welcome. Up high. Yep, thanks, no problem. Uh, the other high. Uh, yep, definitely have some training partners ready to go. Have some training partners. Aim. I like that. Steam gives you free reign to declare yourself as the professor ass PhD, you know? Not no MD. You know, not no small ass baby degree. This man is PhD. What the heck? Round one. Fight. I feel like I'm gonna struggle against this guy. Psych. Let's mix him up, y'all. Alright. That's a mid block from him, meaning a not low block. Okay, that's a low block from him, meaning. Meaning I don't know what to think anymore, but that was. That low block right there was fishy, because the low I went for was so obvious. That's me breaking it down a little bit further. Cause I shouldn't have went for that low. I just wanted to try it. Kind of. Me eating this combo doesn't really worry me because I've already got a damage on him. We're damn near just even. Just gonna sidestep, work my way off the wall here. Look at him. He's in the wall. Just gotta eat my pressure next. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, oh, good, good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. You almost did it. That was a good low block, though. Fight. This move is really good with Leo, because you're always fishing for that counter hit. Oh, come on. I know that's high. Uh, uh. Wow, he just ate a lot of down floor twos this round. The reason why I threw him out a lot is because I think Leo's uppercut is among you know some of the better ones. Clip that, because that is a perfect example of the topic earlier of escaping the wall. Oh sure, I'll, I'll throw it on the channel, the YouTube. Get ready for the next battle. He should have done the race drive. I think he might have been trying to do the race drive. I can't. I can't be sure. You clip it. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I should have said. You. Round All right. Fight. What was I supposed to be teaching though? I forgot. <laughs> oh, mixing up the guy, right? I am doing that. And I'm showing you on the wall. I'm doing a dash or a sidestep before I initiate like the mid low kind of perfect the alignment, the timing, everything. In the open field, it's more about just the timing rather than the alignment. I, I almost. Oh, I'm dead. He is doing all right there. Round two. Fight. I am mashing the hell out of some buttons. Round three. 
I mean, in that clip or instance or whatever, I kind of just did it and said I'm doing it. I really didn't explain how to do it, you know, how to get on the wall, what techniques are you could use, you know, what's available to you. I really didn't break it down like I usually do. I just kind of did it. So, I mean, that, that's just one of the many examples that you can use to get off the wall. And I was using that particular one in that instance because he wasn't really putting any pressure on me. He was just letting me kind of walk it off. And to make things even worse, if I remember correctly, he was even sidestepping himself into the wall. And that's just a big no-no. Big no-no, kids. I don't want to go to the final round. I'm not sure I can win. Wow. Why did he do that? Why did I attack? I should have just started. Please do something. Oh. Please do something else, stupid. No, not me, you. <laughs> I'm not telling myself to be an idiot. I'm dead, guys. Nice knowing you. I've been waiting for him doing to, to do a 4-4 all round, and he just never did it. Yeah! That's how you do it! <laughs> I was just waiting for the best time to get a little bit of distance so I could do that attack forward, forward, right punch without like getting clipped. That's perfect. What's the biggest tournament you've met? Control me, I just answer that. Hey, you better block low, buddy. Oh, it's a deer family! It's a deer fight! I just noticed that. <laughs> Nobody said anything. <laughs> Smash in is true, lol. Yo, I'm not lying. Woo Moving in like, like a ghost. Oh, that's not the punish. What's up, Mark Man? Lord Mark Man's in the house. Pay your respects, freaking noobs. The man that made a lot of things happen for the tech scene. Oh man, I love the sound Rage Drive makes. It's that deep bass, you know what Round I mean? Like, three. Fight. it's the only time you're gonna hear that sound in the game. The sound of this game just took like a huge step up too, in general. Sound effects. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> kind of. Oh, oh, I want to hear it again. I want to, I want to hear it again. <laughs> oh shit. What if I got like that deer helmet and I dressed up like one of my most famous customs at the next second tournament? You know what I mean? Like, could you picture me dressed up like, uh, like that Brian with the blue helmet or whatever? <laughs> you know what I mean? With the deer helmet? Or am I dressed like Tony Tony Chopper with the yellow shirt and the. Make it a sub goal. <laughs> I mean, first of all, I have to find a way to obtain said deer head. Right? I mean, I'm not in the deer head market game or anything. It's hot as fuck in those animal masks. Well, I never said I would play. Maybe pools or some. That'd be kind of disrespectful. You need to do the deer helmet now. <laughs> well, somebody shipped that to my crib. We can probably talk about it. Hey! What?
Why did he attack after I hit him with something? We should not do that. But which deer costume outfit? I've got so many. I've got no so many like legendary ones. Just not even sure where to start, really. Ooh, psych! Ooh, psych! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! Do not try this at home, kids. Oh! That is pretty damn fun, guys. That is pretty fun. Get ready for the next battle. Did I just invent some new undiscovered tech? Oh, I got a ghost here pretty much here. That was funny. Do not try that. You will get slapped. Yeah, you might get slapped up. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I feel bad because I just got incredibly lucky that last round, that last game, you know, with everything hitting like that. It usually doesn't even happen like that, no matter who you play. So sometimes it'll just line up, just like how sometimes dudes would just like clean me three rounds straight. It happened to him in like a very, yeah, in a not good way. <laughs> I like it, Kazumi. I might put her in the rotation, guys. I might put her in the rotation. I might put her in the rotation. Oh, combo! <laughs> I was just kidding. He he, did, he he tried the one, by the way, right there, guys. Okay, this is just too nasty. Okay. <laughs> Round four. I'm down for the highlight Fight. moments. <laughs> How do you even do that option? <laughs> How the heck did I do that unblockable? Everything is lining up perfectly. You see it, right? You see it. It's crazy. 